feel it in your veins, it's the adrenaline Feel the rush of the crowd, that's the adrenaline When they scream your name, feel the adrenaline When they all get loud, that's the adrenaline 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 Welcome everyone to Power Hour Pro Wrestling. I am Big Underscore Bane, bringing you guys a rundown of our very first tournament, of our very first episode, where we will decide the very first Patreon champion for Breaker and Bane. Now, we're having an eight-man tournament. Starting things off, we're going to have Poetic Prophet versus Jordan Zeilinger of Wreck My Podcast. Below him, we've got Eric Barker versus... Big Chuck. Below that, we've got Mike the Cleaner versus Travis Fowler. And rounding out our tournament, we have the Soda Hunter versus David Thomas. Now, I'm not one for keeping you guys up too long. How about we jump right into the action? We got Poetic Prophet versus Jordan Zeilinger. Let's get down to it. Take it away, Breaker and myself. Big underscore Bane, I love how you kick it over to yourself there. I got to do what I got to do there, Breaker. We are here. It's the first episode of PHPW Adrenaline. Big underscore Bane, this first round match for the PHPW title, I'm excited. The most coveted championship in our little world that we just created. <laughs> that we just created, but that's what makes it coveted. Exactly. It's our creation. It's us. Now, you're probably wondering to yourself at home, who is this Power Ranger looking badass? Well, this is Poetic Prophet. Yeah. So shut the hell up and enjoy the action because this guy's going to whoop some ass. So, of course, first round match here. This is for all the marbles, right? And Poetic yeah. Prophet, we don't know a lot about this guy and very prevalent here by his uh, by his character choice here on Adrenaline, but he's going up against Jordan Zeilinger from Wreck My Podcast. Jordan Zeilinger, a known gym rat. Yes. But he's also a bit of a beer drinker, too. Yeah, so... Uh, How's this going to factor in, man? I don't know. It depends on what day of the week it is. I mean, it does. W- does he got the blood and sweat, or uh, the does he beer. have the craft beer in him? <laughs> right. So we're, we're about to find out as soon as this bell rings. Absolutely. Poetic Prophet, one thing I love about this guy is he takes his sweet-ass time Get into the ring. He's letting Jordan stand back there in the grill position. Just kind of think about it, right? Yeah, yeah. Jordan's like, come on. It. He's probably b- back there bouncing around. <laughs> you know, he's, he's taking gonna... a swig of some pumpkin spice uh, brew. Yeah, yeah, some craft beer that tastes like shit. And uh, this is, we can say the S word, right? On our own hey, commentary for you're, our own you're, show. You're a producer, pal. <laughs> Do whatever you want. <laughs> so we also know a big announcement here. Four weeks from this episode. We are going to have ghosts, goblins, and grapple holds our first pay-per-view event. Yes, absolutely. This is this whole tournament is going to uh, culminate at our first pay-per-view, and I, so, I think it's going to be great. Oh, it's going to be awesome. That's where we're going to crown the very first ever PHPW World Champion. And that's another thing. I'm sure a lot of guys will hold this title as Jordan Zeilinger makes his way out to the ring, but there's only going to be one first champion. That's right. Title's up for grabs here. It's going to be good times. Jordan, he's, he's all smiles. Look at him. Jordan's ready to go. Seems very confident. Doesn't seem like Poetic Prophet's really uh, gotten under his skin too much. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's a smart strategy, though, man. I got to tell you, because Poetic Prophet, he's, he's a scary dude. There's nothing more scary than the unknown. I'll tell you that much. Jordan's Zeilinger rocking the Wreck My Podcast logos on the gear there. Yeah. Making sure he gets himself paid. I love it. Damn right. His uh, theme music very reminiscent of Hardcore Holly. I love it. Yeah, it's good stuff. <laughs> good stuff. Great stuff here. Uh, you can see the He's... PHPW Arena jam-packed to the Raptors. That's right. This is all uh, FU COVID, all right? Yeah. Bring it. No masks. Yes. We love it. They're all free. I actually had to had to pay them a little bit to come Whoa, out. we just throw a super hell? kick. Jordan Zeiler going right after Poetic Prophet. A oh, nice huge. DDT. Shades DDT. of Jake the Snake. I'm telling you. I am telling you. He put a little extra something-something on that DDT, too. Absolutely. And, you know, oh, we got a backbreaker. One of my go-to favorites. I always like the backbreaker. I always like anything that just breaks stuff. My name's Breaker, so of course I got to do the backbreaker. Of course, breaker. yeah, yeah. You got an early prediction for this match? I got to be honest, man. I got to give it to Poetic Prophet. I, I feel like this guy... He's a man of mystery, He's right? a man of mystery. And again, nothing more scary than the unknown. Absolutely. Poetic Prophet going up to the top. Oh, just taunting the crowd. 
okay. clearly feels like he has this match. Uh, but well Jordan's in hand. coming up behind him. You can't do that when you're in the ring against somebody like Could have Jordan. Been the first mistake of the match. Uh, Sherman, release German suplex. suplex. I think so. Big mistake by Poetic Prophet. Jordan's Island kind of just tearing apart his opponent now. Oh, oh, was that a block? That, no. Oh, oh, he's just oh, going out. Great flurry of strikes. No respect. No respect to the helmet, pal. Ooh, nice. Shades of that together. martial oh, arts oh. background that I did not know Jordan's hey, Islander he, had. I'm telling you, he's he's got plenty of tricks up his sleeve. Oh, wow. Head butts to the turnbuckle. Have you ever had your head good. smashed against the turnbuckle like that, Big Bang? I have not. <laughs> do you and want to experience it? I do not. <laughs> we got I cover. Will. Oh, Ooh, not barely at one count. Jordan's Islander clearly has a lot left in the tank. Yes. Today was not a craft oh. beer day. It's a blood and sweat day. Absolutely. What's he got, got going a double under? Hook okay. And, ooh. Oh, what do we got and going? A float over. Two. Could Whoa. we see a trifecta? The hat trick. Oh, oh. almost a set out DDT there, face plant style. I think he probably should have gone for the cover there, Big Bang. Poetic that may Prophet have been a mistake. Just set up like he was Undertaker. What the hell? Poetic Prophet is, he seems to be in this match very hard to keep down. And that could be a uh, big advantage of him moving forward in this tournament. Yeah. Huge body splash off the top. Wow. Corner. Are you kidding me? Wow. Now Poetic Prophet going for the Got a cover pin. there from Poetic Prophet. And a kick out from Jordan's Islander. Now, big underscore bang, we got eight guys in this tournament. Do you have an early tournament prediction of what you think might be happening at our pay-per-view event, Ghost Goblins and Grapple Holds? My God, that is hard for me to say. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, I'll be honest, man. I, I, and it could just be again because it. I, I'm going wow, to get here. There. That was huge. Uh, but, Shades of JBL and Stan Hansen. But I gotta go with. I feel like I gotta go with Point of Profit at the pay-per-view. Like I think he's going to take it all the way there. He, he seemed, Jordan seems to not have his number in this match. No. Everything Jordan's putting on him, boy, the Prophet's got an answer for it. Except for that. Good Lord. Look at those kicks oh, and that wow. elbow strike. Nice, nice elbow strike. Now, here's another thing, too. To win this tournament, you have to perfectly win three matches, man. That's yes. not easy for anybody. That is not. Now on the outside of the ring, and you see at PHPW, we go old school with the guardrails. I love it. Yes. Yeah, we don't have that. We don't have that. Uh, None of those walls. We, we don't have that in the budget. <laughs> no, definitely not. Actually, we, those uh, those lights in the in the aisle way, those are from Dollar Tree. Oh, nice. So yeah. Shout out to Dollar Tree. Yes. The referee's administering his count. I hope both guys are paying attention. I would hate for this match to end in a count. I don't want to give anything away, but if you see the ref wearing a WWE shirt, that's just because we stole it from him. Yes. Well, yeah. sometimes you got to do what you got to do. We couldn't afford. We definitely a, didn't kidnap a referee and force him to do this. Did not. Did not at all. We just uh, we couldn't afford a new shirt, so we just do what we had to do. Put a profit up on the top rope. Could this be a mistake? Oh, and he missed. Oh my gosh. Maybe took a little bit too much time up there. Jordan's Eyelinger says, "Get wrecked." Well, nope. goes oh, for the oh. kick. Oh, and another lariat. I my love it. God. Whoa, oh, what, what, what do we, we have here? No way. Are we going to see it? Are we going to see it? He's got him hooked. Oh, my. Yeah, it's up. It's up and down. Oh, it's a choke slam. And he's pulling him out to the middle. Smart move by Poetic Prophet with a cover. you was got to be kidding me. What was that two? Just a two? That was just a two count. It looked like a three to me. That was two? What the hell? Are we sure? Is this rough for you on the on someone's payroll? What's going on I here? I don't know. But it probably See seems to be okay with it. And he's, you know, making a very smart move and going back onto the attack here. He's definitely got the advantage. Ooh, nice big elbow drop. Very nice elbow drop. Maybe we'll play the prop is just like, okay, I'll just beat him up some more. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, oh, little camel clutch action. Shades of the Iron Sheik there and we Big go. Papa Pump. There we go. Have you ever been in a camel clutch, Big Bang? Uh, no. It's not fun. It I'll, hurts. It hurts. It hurts. I also would not like to be in one of those either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, every random wrestling move I see, I'm just going to ask you if you've ever experienced <laughs> yes. it. Because I know you probably haven't. Yeah, you know. And just get your overall thought on I, uh, how bad that move probably was. My, my, uh, my wrestling expertise in ring training lasted about two months, and that was good enough for me. We got another cover here from Poetic Prophet. 
Oh, wow. These last several minutes have been all poetic profit. Will Jordan Zeilinger mount any kind of a comeback The here? resilience of Jordan Zeilinger is uncanny. It definitely is, but you have to. I'm, I'm, you, you predicted poetic profit. I gotta go with you, man. I feel like he might be, he might be the winner of this match. Jordan, ha well, Jordan's Whoa, got a cross arm breaker now. They may be in the ropes. He's hooking the leg. Wow, what a move! But I think they were in the ropes. The ref stopped it. Smart move by the ref. Yeah. We've got a possible suplex here. Ooh, a Ooh. brain buster. Shades of Eddie Guerrero. Poet Prophet clearly studying his WCW Saturday Night tapes. Clearly. What do we got going on here? What are you doing to this man, Jordan? I, I did not think Jordan Zeilinger would have such a lucha style. Has he been? Has he been training behind our backs? And he, he lives in Dallas now. Maybe he he's does. doing some lucha training. Maybe. Right well, what's Jordan got up his sleeve? What's he got going on here? I feel like the tides have really oh. turned in this match. Oh, and, uh, what is he? We got. Uh -oh. oh my gosh! Oh, he's got him hooked. A guillotine choke. Could we this could see a potential it? tap out here. I did not expect this match to end in a submission, but you never know. The Poetic Prophet, get out of this. What is going to happen here? Anything can happen here in PHPW. No, he well, released we the escape. Wow. If this is any indication of how this tournament is going to go, it's anybody's game. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, but now he's going for a pin. What's going to happen here? he got a cover. Whoa. He, won. he, he must gosh. have been out. Yeah, I think that I think that chokehold did him in. Your winner of their match and advancing. To the semifinals of the PHPW title tournament, wreck my podcasts, Jordan Zeilinger. What a match. What a match that We're was. We're seeing highlights here. That was absolutely an incredible match. The type of action you can expect here every week on Power Hour Pro Wrestling. And I'll tell you what, this this won't be the last time, last we see a poetic profit, I'll tell you that. Yeah, Jordan Zeilinger definitely earned this victory. Absolutely, absolutely. he did. Poetic Profit's got nothing to be ashamed of. I think he'll definitely be making a huge impact here in PHPW definitely in the future. Definitely, definitely. Wow, just it, that's crazy to think this is our very first match here. Yeah, our first and only contest in this company, and that's what everyone's going to have to follow. It's going to be it's going to be an amazing tournament. Yeah, game. good luck following this match. I mean, look at this right here. Hey, are, are you are you in this tournament? Am I in this? No, I should have been though. I'm not either. I'm I'm kind of thinking maybe we made the right decision. Yeah. Competition's pretty stiff. It is a little stiff. Yeah, but congratulations to Jordan Zeilinger moving on in the tournament. He's fired up, and absolutely he should be. Well, Jordan Zeilinger might have pulled off the upset of the decade as he moves on to the semifinals. But for now, let's take it back down to ringside with Soda Hunter versus David Thomas. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready for some more action here on PHPW, Big Underscore Bane? I know I'm ready. The Soda Hunter's making his way out to the ring all the way from Alabama. You know he's all jacked up on Mountain Dew. You know he is. He's probably got Coca-Cola running through his veins. You damn right. He's definitely caffeinated up. He's sprinting to the ring. Yeah. He's ready to go. Just like the t-shirt says, he's always on the hunt. Absolutely. I think he's going to find himself a victim here tonight. Absolutely. Soda Hunter up on that ring apron. Jordan Zeilinger, as we already mentioned, has advanced on the tournament. He's got to be watching this. This is not going to be his next opponent, the winner of this match, but he's got to be paying very close attention to this tournament. Absolutely. From now on, I mean, he needs to be paying attention because any one of these next guys in these next few matches could be his next opponent. Absolutely. Soda Hunter waiting on his opponent. Of course, we know is uh, David Thomas. David Thomas, the debuting day. Actually, this is the debut for everybody. But Absolutely. David Thomas making his entrance. And quite an entrance he has. Yes. Wow. We, we spare gave, no expense here at PHBW. We gave him that ricochet treatment. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> what an outfit, too. Yeah, I mean, very just, cool. Well, our show's cold adrenaline, and Dave Thomas is pulling out full adrenaline here. I love the helmet. Yeah. Reminds me of Iron Man and Kane and kind of a little bit of Halo. Yeah, a little bit. Definitely a little bit of Halo. I uh, think it's pretty cool. I, I don't know if uh, 
Don't think he should wrestle in it, though. I definitely don't think so either. I think uh, I don't think Soda Hunter is going to be impressed with that helmet either. I don't think so. I think I think if Soda Hunter had the opportunity, he'd knock it off himself. You know, Soda Hunter's no uh, stranger to helmets. A former race car driver himself. Yeah. So I don't know. That ne didn't necessarily ever help Bob Spark Plug Holly out, but maybe it did not. Maybe it'll help Soda Hunter out in his quest to become the PHPW heavyweight champion. Maybe. Could be. Some big match implications here in our first round of the PHPW title tournament. The crowd here is kind of settling down, ready for this match to get going. I think they're Holy. worn out from that first match we saw. It was it was a it was a barn burner. It really was. It really was. Whoa, we nope. got a collar and elbow tie up. Side headlock by Soda Hunter showing some wrestling skills into a top wrist lock here. Uh, you know, I feel like uh, in our previous match, we saw a lot more brawling. Maybe could yeah. this be a little bit more of a technical classic? It could be. Oh, oh. High waist lock takedown there from Dave Thomas into the headlock to the ground. And uh, both men back up to their feet. Wow, so Hunter headlock. getting the headlock back. Headlock takeover. Oh, and a big oh, right oh, hand. Oh. Nothing classic about He's that. He's fighting dirty. Yes, he is. Shoots him into the ropes. A drop down. Oh, a Big knee lift right to the gut. That'll uh, make you feel your lunch. Yeah. Might make you taste it again, too. Yeah, I, I know sometimes when you taste your lunch, it's never as good the second time. It is not. It is not. It's nobody, a little more acidic. Nobody likes to puke. Nope. Ooh, nice standing vertical suplex. Shades of Davy Boy Smith there with that one. So I think Soda, Soda Hunter strength. I think Soda Hunter definitely has a strength advantage. Yeah. With the size advantage, but you know, will Dave Thomas have the? Uh, wow, like like I was gonna wow. say, he definitely got the speed advantage. Yeah. Will he also have the endurance in this match? It could be. I mean, I know if that was me running to the ring like Soda Hunter did, I'd already be gassed. <laughs> well, right. <laughs> but I mean, you're not. Wow, <laughs> set out. Good. Freaking doctor bomb. Shades of Steve Williams. <laughs> we uh, talked about the strength advantage. I don't know. Dave Thomas clearly has got a lot more. Oh. Whoa, and a stun gun. Takes me back to 1993 with the Hollywood Blondes. I love it. Yeah, now, we, we made some early predictions, and, I, you know, we both kind of thought Poetic Prophet. Ooh, nice move. Wow. There. Maybe should have gone for the cover. Could have been a mistake. We made some earlier predictions with uh, both of us choosing Poetic Prophet, and Big Underscore Bane, it shows what we know. We were both wrong. We Jordan Zeilinger moved on. Yeah, he did. I mean, and... And it kind of makes me wonder, maybe I shouldn't even predict this this match, because I, I honestly don't know. I don't know. I feel like Soda Hunter's definitely gaining an advantage here. I'm just twerking the neck. That's never fun. You ever had your neck twerk, Big Underscore Bane? I have not. <laughs> <laughs> it's no. not fun. It hurts. And no. It hurts, I don't it hurts, want it hurts. To. Good old chin buster. And a leg lariat. Dave Thomas definitely bringing a very unique offense to this match, which I can always appreciate. Taking the time to taunt, I don't know if that's a smart move. I mean, Sword Hunter's a big guy. He is, and you're also going to tick him off when you just taunt him right in his face like that. Right. I like how Soda Hunter took the time to cut the back of his t-shirt up a little bit. Yeah, you, I guess just for breathing room, yeah, I don't you know. you got to get that airflow, man. Yeah, it's all about the airflow. Same reason you wear baggy shorts. Side rushing leg sweep. Pulling him to the center of the ring with a cover. Referee a little out of position there. Ooh, I don't know. That could have been a three. That, I'm going to throw that one on the referee. Yeah, Bang. he wasted his time getting over there. I think the referee's got it out for Soda Hunter. He may. You know, Dave Thomas is wearing the green. You think he threw a couple of, a couple of Benjamins at the referee? Is Dave Thomas the million-dollar man? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. that referee looks a little shady. I think for a ten does. spot, he might have. He does, yeah. He, I I think all it would take is a ten spot. You know, yeah. just get him to the next town. A ten spot, and you know, maybe that's an illegal a, choke, though. Yes, it is. I mean, good grief, the ref didn't care nothing about that. Soda Hunter definitely in control right now. Oh, nice little short arm clothesline, shades of Jake the Snake. Now, where's he going? What's what's he got going on here? He's letting him get up, exerting all that energy. Huge Ooh. DDT. There's something very, very painful about getting your head just spiked into the mat like that. Yes. You've got a cover. Take your time, ref. Sheesh. 
He hey, still wow. got the victory. He oh, still got wow. the victory. Soda Hunter has officially moved on somebody, to the semifinals. Somebody needs to check on Dave Thomas. I mean, it took a while for that ref to get there. Absolutely. <laughs> What a match Thomas that was, is though. okay, and honestly, he has nothing to be ashamed about in this oh, uh, in this no. matchup. No, I, I'll be honest with you. I think I think Soda Hunter is going to be one of the top competitors here at B, PHPW. Absolutely, Soda Hunter moving on to the semifinals in the PHPW title tournament. Always on the hunt, and he's ready for more competition. Absolutely, he is. What a match! What a week here at PHPW Adrenaline, Big Underscore Band. Yeah, first week. Down. was our main event here. As Soda Hunter is uh, celebrating his win, and next week we will continue the first round of the PHPW title tournament. Yes. It looks like the hunter has found its prey as the Soda Hunter moves on to the semifinals in our tournament to crown the very first Patreon champion. This will about wrap us up this week, but join us next week right here as we get our matches for the semifinals set. Next week we will see Eric Barker versus Big Chuck in action, as well as Mike the Cleaner versus Travis Fowler. It's going to be one you will not want to miss. Join us next week for a great edition of Power Hour Pro Wrestling Adrenaline. Thank you, guys. See you next week.